So the first time that I came up to the falls after the fires was when DSC actually organised buses. That was the only way we could get up here. We drove up in the bus, got off, stood exactly here, and it was one of those OMG moments. Total um, disbelief. You know, we'd, we'd seen what we had seen down in town, but to come up here and see the total de devastation, there was a silence, a greyness, um, and a game of pick-up sticks that was here. Gut-wrenching. It was one of the hottest places in the fire. Um, it actually, uh, the fire had blown the, the, the landscape apart, basically. You know, everything was down, trees, blowing rocks apart, cracked, and so forth. So it was just a complete disaster zone. It was like a bomb had actually gone off here in this little crevice. The whole waterfall, the forest around it, everything was just destroyed by the fire. Um, it was unrecognisable to anyone that had ever been there before. And yeah, it was, it was difficult to... It was difficult to look at. You know, looking at the devastation, and it was kind of hard to work out where to start in terms of actually doing something to fix the place up. So, yeah, for me, it was a, a pretty lost, but I know for people that were connected really strongly to the place, it, was, it would have hurt much deeper than that. Stevenson's Falls um, was such a, a um, important and iconic part of the town. The recovery effort by the local DSC teams was so important. Um, town and community had so many other priorities to look after and, and focus on. We really needed DSE to step up, which they did. The guys were fantastic. They spent months in here um, cleaning up the mess, replanting, repositioning things to, to make it safe again uh, for people to come. It was a reasonably unsafe place to be and and because there was no vegetation on the hillsides, every time it rained there'd be you know little landslips and rocks would move and there was lots of work to make the place safe. Um, you know, remove some of the hazardous trees. In the falls itself, uh, that's where Marysville gets its water supply from, so that was destroyed, so we had to repair the water supply. The road was, you know, the road was wrecked, so we had to get the road up to, up to scratch so we could actually drive safely in there. So it was all that just sort of stabilisation kind of works just so we could be in there safely and try and get people back in there to visit. The next time we came up, the toilets were up and running, the platform was, was there, uh, the walkway had been beautifully done and replaced again and there was water in the falls. The birds had started to come back, only faintly because some of the growth had started to happen again. So to watch that then over the last probably eight years, because I would say it was probably a good 12 months, 18 months before we got back up here again, if not longer, has been this stunning process of seeing it um, regrowing and the greenery coming through to be able to hear the falls as we can hear them now. Um, it's just been beautiful. Two things that people know about Marysville. One is snow in winter and Stevenson's Falls. To have this reopened for tourists and so forth was just so important. It's one of our main attractions and the walk in and the facilities now are top level, which is another great thing. As I said, you know, some good things come out of bad. To have the, basically the upgrade that came after the fires, uh, has made it one of those iconic visiting spots once again. Visitors would be coming through and they'd, they'd stop and talk to you about what was going on and how fantastic it was to see the place being rebuilt, um, how you know, beautiful the recovery of the forest was, um, and all the way you know, people would give you, give you feedback about what a, what a great job we did. Something like the falls, you know, it, it holds special places in lots of people's hearts and we don't often don't know about that sort of stuff until something like the you know, Black Saturday occurs and, and we go through that really awful experience and people come back and we get to talk to them. So I reckon that's, it's not just the falls, I think it's lots of places that we work where it's special to us but special to so many people.